Hi, this is Matt Panzer, and I'm doing a quick demo of our Camera Match plugin for Vectorworks. I'm going to start here with a file that has some design layers with some viewports. The first viewport here is showing just the new part of the model we're going to show in the photo. And then the second one here is the existing mass that we're going to use for lining to the photo. Okay, now I'm on to another layer with uh, the roof of the existing house. And I'm going to place a Camera Match reference point at this one corner of the roof and I'm going to put it up near the eave. I'm going to go to a side view and get the, uh, the height up to the eave. And this uh, reference object gives me the uh, location and orientation of this 3D model. And it also will allow me to lock that specific spot of the model onto the photograph. Okay, now I'm on a sheet layer with a viewport of the existing model and I'm going into the annotations and I'm going to place a camera match object. Okay, I have no site photo so I'm going to import one. Okay, I'll keep it as a JPEG and make sure I have my reference object selected there. And here's the camera match object. Uh, this object has various control lines that point towards uh, corresponding vanishing points. So here right now I'm going to locate the vertical vanishing point by moving this blue control line. And now I'm going to locate the right vanishing point by locating these red control lines. And I'm just getting these in a rough location and then I'll zoom in and uh, fine tune them. Um, this green target I'm placing now, uh, it's a little hard to see, you'll see it when I zoom in. Uh, that will also uh, locate the actual location of the, the model, uh, of that reference object that we had placed. I'm going to make these labels a little smaller, and let's fine tune these along the lines of the siding here. So there's that green target point again, and that's pinpointing that camera match reference object. And that'll keep that, uh, that point locked on the photograph. Okay, I'm going to try to line these up in the mortar joints of the brick. It's a little hard to see in this uh, photo. I'm going to go in and adjust my brightness. Now I can see those a little more clear. Okay, and get this last green one down here. Check this vertical one here, it looks pretty good. And another thing I need to do is to set my measured line. All right, now you'll see this line here set has a 10 foot dimension. I can choose different ones here. But I, I know the width of the house is 28 feet. And I've drawn that line the full length of that house. So that is a 28 foot dimension on the photograph. Okay, I click set view. Um, you'll you see now the model it's in wireframe, but it's actually set it to that view. Let's do it again in hidden line. And you can see the uh, camera matched image there. I'm going to fine tune it a little bit here. And I'm actually tuning the left vanishing point. And you'll see as I do this, the, the point, uh, the reference point that we place on the model stays locked onto the photograph. So everything else uh, adjusts around that. So now I'm adjusting the, the distance from the model. And once I like what I get here, uh, I'll just click on the Save button. Okay, looks good. I'm going to exit the viewport. And 
let's turn off the existing model and just turn to in the layers turn off that and turn on the new parts of the model and let's set it to a custom render works and update the viewport okay so here's our uh, rendered model matched pretty well but obviously there's parts of this model we don't want to see and that's where the camera match masking tool comes in so here with the tool I can just uh, draw a polygon or polyline around the areas of the model that I'd like to eliminate Okay, and I've got all this roof area here I just want to get rid of. Double click, and there it is, it's gone. Now, I also uh, just checked off the annealizing, and that just softens the edge of that mask around the model. Okay, I'm going to put some more. This chimney's kind of hanging in space, so I'm just going to cover it up with the, uh, the leaves here. So I'm just kind of guessing in a a shape here just to get an illusion that some of the leaves are in front of that chimney. I think I'll place a couple more up higher here. Just kind of quick shapes here just to get an illusion. Okay, not bad. I'm going to select those and check off the annealizing as well. And there's our completed camera match rendering. Now the one thing I did notice here is the, uh, the bottom of that dormer where it meets the roof there doesn't quite match the shading of the leaves there and I've come up with a trick here I've gone back into the annotations of the viewport um, I'm using the stipple tool and you may want to play with the settings to get the uh, size and shape you like and the uh, density but I'm just going to draw a stipple around the area that I'd like the shading to show up and let's make this go down a little lower Okay, so I have a stipple, and I'm going to give this a solid black fill. And I'm going to give it some transparency as well. It's about 15% opacity, uh, maybe make it 20%. And let's take a look, and that looks pretty good. But down towards the bottom, I'd like it to be a little more solid shading, so I'm going to add just a uh, solid black polygon under that and I'll give that some transparency as well uh, let's make that 20 again and there you go not too bad let's take a look at that and now we have a nicely polished rendering in very little time